Remember the time I cooked with Chef Michelle Bernstein? I'll never forget the workout that left us looking like this. Speaking of workouts, Morgan shows us why ladies should live too with the help of her sisters. A latte, paletta, and avocado pizza walk into a food hall. I eat them, happily. Have you ever wanted to be a part of art? I'm Hunter Frankie, and you can interact with art today on SoFlow Health. So you're spending the day on South Beach and maybe began on the beach with Third Street Beach Yoga and then continued with lunch at one of the great places to eat. But now you're realizing it's getting hot, like really hot. Fortunately, right behind me is Art Tech House, a new kind of art gallery that fuses art and technology in a unique way. Later, Aniva Zaman will tell you how it works, but for now, I'm gonna use it as one of the most entertaining ways to get out of the sun. I'm looking for my workout partner. I know you. Hi, Hannah. It's Chef Michelle Bernstein. How are you? How are you doing, honey? How's it going? This is Hi, Billy Riano. He's How my you? trainer. Good to meet and you, Billy. This is Manning Hi. Nice to meet you. The owner of Legacy Fit. I'm here to work out, as, as you are. Yes. And uh, so where are we going? What are we doing? Let's go. Let's head over here and we'll get started. All right, let's do this. I'm a little scared. Oh, uh, now I am too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warm up first. Uh, we're just gonna do a light sled push for the warm up. So okay. I want your arms at 90, all right. right? And just work on your cadence and it's almost like you're marching the sled down to the pole and back. Just like that. More of a march than a push. Just keep the sled moving. That's the key. Both feet pick up. We're gonna walk as tall as you can, all the way down and back. Yeah, walk with me. So, okay, all right, Chef. I see what you're doing. I see what you're trying to do here. All right, I'm ready to go. Head and chest up. Go Keep those kettlebells go. off your body. <laughs> Is this a race? I think it just became a race. It's not, I'm not racing you. <laughs> so how often do you do this, Chef? You're like 20 years younger than I. <laughs> Three times a week. Three times a week? Yeah. That's pretty darn good. Don't talk to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hunter, we're gonna do some rope, battle ropes, what we call okay. battle ropes. So go ahead and grab the rope. You wanna like kind of choke up, like you're choking up on a bat. All right. You're gonna get a nice athletic position with a slight, slight lean forward. All right, you're gonna drive your heels into the ground and you're gonna create little waves as fast as you can. You're gonna feel yourself coming towards the, the pole, but you wanna engage your core so that you don't do that, all right? Now with Michi, it's gonna work with the minivan. You're gonna do a lateral work. So you're gonna be facing this way. Yep. You're gonna do a big step, small step, all the way down to your column Got and it. come back. It is hard. It's very uncomfortable. Just, it's great. Now what it does is it creates so much tension on your legs that it feels like there's a couple hundred pounds being built. That's some full body workout right there. <laughs> How are you feeling? Great. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, yeah. This is just a bike, right? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so what we want now is we're gonna go 20 seconds all out, so max, max effort. You want the RPMs at least at 100, so minimum 100. If it falls under that, I know you're not giving me a, a very good effort, okay? All right. So everything you got, all right, all right 20 you seconds. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Time. Nice, nice. That's the way to work. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> the host is speechless. <laughs> I think that's enough for me, Michelle. I don't know, man. I got a lot of bit, a little bit more in me. A lot of bit or a little bit? I... Okay, a little bit. All right. Well, that's good for you, but I think I'm done. Well, now you know what I go through here a couple times a week so that I can eat my own fried chicken. Love you, honey. Oh, you too. That's a nap. <laughs> I just walked in the door, and this place is pretty cool. Let me show you how some of this interactive art works. Watch. As soon as you walk into the motion sensors, look, you're an instant art installation. And as you move, it moves with you. I'm some sort of a swarm. I'm everything, I'm nothing, all at once. It's your interpretation, but either way, it's a lot of fun. So I'll see you after this. This is Lincoln Road, and that's Lincoln Road Eatery, Miami Beach's first food hall with over 13 different places for you to taste geared towards locals with locally sourced food. Let's get inside and taste it. 
This is David of XO Espresso Bar. I'm gonna get a sip of this beet latte. You heard me, beet latte. That's right. Tell me about the beet latte. So the beet latte, you know, it's part of our wellness range here. We have an XO Espresso Bar. It's gonna be a combination of uh, beetroot and ginger. Wow. Uh, it's, it's quite simple, but it has some great wellness benefits. Uh, it's great for antioxidants. Uh, really good for lowering blood pressure as well. So, and most importantly, it tastes good. It tastes delicious. <laughs> I gotta say, when you think beets, you're like, uh oh. Yeah. Here we go. The but great, this is delicious. The great thing is too, you can have it with any milk. We've got nut milks. We have uh, oat milk, macadamia, coconut, wow. and almond milk as well. And so. you have a blue drink there. What is that? So this is the uh, blue butterfly pea latte. So it's uh, from Thailand. Okay, the, uh, the blue butterfly pea. It's great for antioxidants, right. anti-inflammatory, and it has a lot of vitamins as well. Well, I'm gonna go check out the rest of uh, Lincoln Eatery here, and uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers. This is Tangerine. It's the okay. top seller, top sale in Mexico. Thank you. There you go. Wow, it's And fruit. these are all vegan, natural. Uh, it's like wow. literally the fruit made ice pop. I was going to say, that's what, what it tastes like. It tastes like I just ate a tangerine. Makes it so special. Right. And tell me about it being uh, vegan and uh, having right. no extra so additives. Here in the shop, we have more different options. We have fresh coconut water. It's around five drained coconuts. Right. We have vegan protein shakes. We have chocolate peanut butter. We do vanilla with uh, the real fruits, the orange. Right. It's, it feels fresh, uh, just like you said, like you're eating the fruit. I can't think of another way to describe it, but go eat a tangerine. That's what this is, but in a nice um, popsicle setting, in a paletta exactly. setting. It's not too often that you get to have a healthy dessert. Right. Thank you very much. You're I've welcome. got some more Lincoln Eatery to check out, but this is delicious. Right. This is Tyler of Necessary Purveyor inside Lincoln Eatery. Tyler, what's this and what are we doing? Hunter, today we're gonna create my avocado pizza. We're gonna layer it with red beet hummus that we make in-house. Wrap avocados around it, jalapenos, daikon sprouts, microgreens, house-made tabbouleh. It's a um, magical, <laughs> magical, flavorful dish. Sounds pretty good. Wow. What do you think? Wow. Every bite has a little more flavor in it. Right, the tabbouleh really draws it together. Um, the lemon wedge that finishes That's it really, off. That's really, really good. I recommend the dish to share between one or two people. Um, it's great, it's light, it's clean, it's summery. You don't feel bloated afterwards. Right. It's a very healthy dish, so vegan and vegetarian as well. Well, Tyler, thank you very much. You're very welcome. He says this dish is to share, but I think I'll keep it to myself. Right. I'm stuffed, but if you're hungry for more SoFlo health, stay right there. Morgan shows you why ladies should live too, and Aniva finds out what Art Tech House is all about when SoFlo health returns. Focusing on you, innovations in modern medicine. From your team of eye experts at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute. Lillian Furland was alarmed when her ophthalmologist told her she might have glaucoma, a condition that can cause blindness. So I was concerned and he said that I should find a specialist. That led Lillian to Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, ranked the number one eye hospital in the country for the past 17 years. Lillian is one of millions of patients from around the world participating in the development of a new method using artificial intelligence to better diagnose a patient's risk of developing serious eye problems. Here at Bascom Palmer, Dr. Rania Habash is leading the initiative in partnership with Microsoft. And so we are trying to teach the machine to recognize glaucoma, just like a glaucoma expert would. Using data gathered from eye exams at Bascom Palmer and other sites around the world, Dr. Habash and her team are training the computer to diagnose conditions such as glaucoma, myopia, macular degeneration, and Alzheimer's disease. We're really close now um, to being able to sit down across from a patient on a first visit and coming up with a risk score. For patients like Lillian, this medical breakthrough brings peace of mind. I feel so much more confident about uh, this new technology. It's a much more personalized, customizable approach to treating patients. Hey, what's up? Am I a little too dark? Hold on a second. Yeah. yeah, that's better. This is one of the few exhibits here where you play with the dark instead of the light. I'm gonna keep myself lit 
and you check in with Morgan. Just in away. Yeah. Coming up, squeezing the glutes to the top. We have two more, two, and last one coming down. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna go grab some weight, put some weight on that so we can really get a feeling. Wait, wait, Morgan, I do not wanna get big and bulky. Wait a second, is this you? Are you too afraid to lift heavy weight because you're too afraid to get big and bulky? I'm Morgan Shapiro for SoFlo Health, and today I'm gonna bust that myth, and you keep up the reps. Way too often do I see girls in the gym doing banded exercises and donkey kicks only. Although that is great, we need to lift heavy. We need to build muscle in order to burn fat. So today, my sister Jackie and I are gonna show you a few exercises to help you do that. All right, today we are starting off with the barbell squat. So you're gonna come under the bar, safely stepping back, and now we're gonna go down. Remember, you wanna make sure your knees aren't buckling in. This is great for your quads, your hamstrings, your core, building the strength. And what's great about these exercises is that you actually can put max effort. Each time you go in, you can progressively overload that, not randomize your workouts, progressive overload, keep it simple. That's what's gonna get you results. And next, we have the hex bar deadlift, another compound movement that uses multiple muscles and joints, giving you a lot more bang for your buck. So we are starting off standing in the bar, gripping the side. This really works our grip strength as well. And then we are taking off, squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes at the top, hinging down, coming up with power. And down. Beautiful. And now a lot of people may think that lifting heavy is going to get you bulky and it's not high intensity. It doesn't get your heart rate up. Well, let me tell you right now, my heart rate is up and I am able to load this movement, building muscle, which over time is going to burn all of my fat. Now we are headed next to the bench press. Way too often do I see girls in the gym only working out their lower body, when truth is, if you wanna build muscle all over, you have to work the whole entire body. So today we are going to do the bench press. I need you to lay back, hands on the bar, feet flat on the ground, down, exhaling at the top, and bringing it back, amazing, good job. Awesome. This is my other sister, Danielle Shapiro. She lifts quite a lot. How long have you been lifting for, Danielle? Um, for probably about five years. Five years. And do you only train lower body? No, I no. train every muscle in my body. Every single muscle. <laughs> There's lower body days, yes, but you'd never neglect the upper body. Never. We don't have any bulkiness here. We have nice, lean, strong muscles. So point is, get in the gym. Don't focus so much on how many calories you're burning or focusing on getting those amazing abs. Train for functionality, performance. When you train for real performance, you'll see that the looks will end up coming, guys. So you go see what Hunter's up to. We got some more lifting to do. At this point, you're probably wondering how all this stuff works. Well, SoFlo Health's Aniva Zaman is here to tell you. about the art tech house you know what kind of art do you guys offer I know everything's all digital based mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. tell us about what sets you guys apart from everyone else and how unique it is okay so art tech house is really focused on showcasing what's coming next like this is the art of the future we are in a huge technology age and so everything that we do is digital based as opposed to your standard you know painting or sculptures we like to create art that you can interact with and kind of create your own experience while you're in here with us but tell us about some of the art and the exhibitions you guys offer. Do they have a meaning to it? How does it work here? Of course, well, we are currently showcasing in Miami XYZT by the French collective Adrian M and Claire B. They've created their own software which will fuse nature with technology and make it more accessible to everybody. So as you're walking through, you're gonna hear wind, you're gonna hear birds chirping. Speaking of being in the technology era, mm -hmm. you know, I've heard about how art ha you know, plays a huge role in a person's well-being, like it stimulates someone's mind. Can you give us some of your thoughts on it? Sure, well in this particular exhibit I've heard, it just kind of depends on how you take it. People leave here feeling like it was a very meditative place for them to be and then some people leave feeling energized and like ready for the day. It's just kind of like a regular workout. Like some people are like, oh, I'm exhausted after workout and other people are like, ready for the day, can conquer the world. Um, so it really does enhance the sensory and movement because we do encourage movement throughout the space so sometimes you do kind of leaving here so a little bit of cardio a little bit of, cardio. Little bit of meditation so it's just like exactly. an all like a, a huge ball of just well-being exactly gotcha gotcha so 
Tell us about this part, this masterpiece we have here. What is this all about? Okay, this is called Anamorphosis in Time, and it plays with the concept of time being relative. Uh -huh. If you move, everything is on a four second delay, so you just feel very like wiggly and wavy, like you're just moving in the ocean. And one of my favorite things to do is to spin around. Okay. And then you can kind of see like how that will work on the oh screen. Oh my God, that is so cool. So spinning actually gives you the concept of, oh my gosh, it, it really is like delaying everything and just. Right, and you can see everything's like everything. moving one second yes. at a time. Yes. Okay, so this is, I, I'm guessing this is not the only masterpiece you guys have, or no. you guys got a lot going else. Upstairs yeah, too, of right? Of course, yeah, we have 10 installations across the entire space. We have uh -huh. actually some upstairs. If you'd like to go up there, we can look at more. Take me over there. All right. All right, let's go. When we come back, we head upstairs for more interactive art. Definitely a stress reliever, so if you're having a hard time, I suggest coming here. Welcome back to SoFlow Health. Before we left you, Aniva Zaman was telling you more about Art Tech House. And now I'm at one of their typographic organisms. What is it? I don't know, but she does. Dana, this is the famous Kinetic Sandbox, right? Yes. This is one of my favorite installations in the entire exhibit. It's very meditative. It's so soothing. I will spend, if I'm having like a stressful day, I will come here and just stand here for about 20 minutes. It goes through different landscapes, so you're always gonna have a different type of reaction to the movement that you make on here. Sure. Definitely a stress reliever, so if you're having a hard time and you happen to be in the area, I suggest coming here. It goes through different sceneries and landscapes, so it's a lot of fun to play with. Do you ever see people that come in here that are, you know, they come in and they're very stressed out and they walk out like, oh. Yes, it happens all the a time. person? Yes, especially because we're located on South Beach and we're right on Collins Avenue. They come in here and it's a very dark, very serene, very calming place. And then when they're leaving, they'll kind of sit at the front a little bit because they're like, we're not ready to face today. We just want to be in here. I feel like I just had like a great yoga session and I just want to like sit in it for a while. So it does happen here very often. Wow, wow. So we have another interactive art back here, yes, right? we do. Let's go over there. Okay. Please. So Dana, we now have like three different tanks and they're a completely different type of interactive art. Yes. Tell us about that. Okay, so these three tanks are activated by breath. There's a sensor on the front of each of them and when you breathe into them, it's going to make the activation come to life. Enlighten us about how art and technology mm -hmm can you know enhance someone's brain function. What we do here is a lot of stimulation happening. So some of it, you know, you're physically asking you to move your body to make the art come to life. We always encourage dancing in front of as many installations as possible. We just want them to look at art in a different way. We don't want it to be, you know, just the standard painting, sculpture, you know, what everybody thinks of when they think of art. This really gets you involved in what we do here. You get to manipulate the pieces, you get to dance around and actually become a part of the art and we just want them to feel connected to it and just learn a different way to experience art altogether. Awesome, so I'm going to connect with this piece of art and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> This is the aptly named Abstract Landscape. And as you can see, it moves along with your emotions. Now I'm gonna keep playing around with this because it's a lot of fun. And you, watch this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here with Dr. MJ of Florida Precision Oncology, a division of 21st Century Oncology. Doctor, tell me about patient care here at Florida Precision Oncology. I think we like to individualize the care. That's why the word precision appears in our name. Cancer is no longer considered one disease. We can take tumor tissue and send it for analysis at a laboratory that can look at 400 or 500 genes and see which one of these has gone haywire and is driving the tumor. And then we can find a designer pill in the market now that can be prescribed mm -hmm. uh, to treat that tumor giving a 60 to 80 percent response rate rather than a 15 to 30 percent response rate for chemotherapy. And then that translates to a better outcome for the patient? Definitely. Patients have fewer side effects than traditional chemotherapy and they live longer with longer emissions. Right. So that's why it's really important to know what's driving the tumor rather than one size fits all. Right, and, and you know, cancer is a scary thing for anyone and it's a daunting thing that affects so many people, families, and of course the patients uh, with cancer. Uh, so what do you do here to uh, 
ease those nerves on people when they're going through this process. We'd like to take a holistic approach. We like to yeah. not just prescribe medicines, but know that there's a whole person attached to the cancer right. uh, and take care of their emotional needs, their nutritional needs. We like to look for evidence. There are doctors who provide complementary medicine who are qualified, who are actually MDs, right. who took additional training in complementary medicine. So we make those referrals as well. Right, so you're not taking the old approach of, we, hey, we, we already know this, and this is the only way to do it. Now you're saying yes. we're willing to listen to other proven methods yes. and give those a shot as well. Yeah, I, I, I believe that absence of proof is not proof of absence. Right. Uh, it's just like uh, one of my colleagues who does a complementary medicine, I'm paraphrasing him. Right. He said, uh, while the oncologist takes care of the weed, cancer being the weed, right. I take care of the garden. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great way of looking at it. Yeah. Where you guys are, um, as it says in the name, precisely focused on uh, getting rid of the cancer. And yes. you, then you're, uh, reference, or you're sending them to people that can help them take care of themselves yes. in the process. Exactly. Um, what's the mission of Florida Precision Oncology? The mission is to bring individualized, precise care closer to where patients live because patients can't always travel to major centers. Right. And uh, we are in many locations with our East Boca Raton, West Boca Raton, mm -hmm. Aventura, Miramar locations. Right. We make sure uh, that we go closer to the patients rather than patients driving long distances to seek the best right. care. Dr. MJ, thank you so much. Thank I really so appreciate much. it. When it comes to oncology, Florida Precision Oncology has you covered. Oh my God, it is bright out here and it is dark in there. Whew, that's better. That's it for this week's episode of SoFlow Health. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Art Tech House for having us here today. We hope you enjoyed the beautiful exhibits, but more importantly, we hope that you come experience them for yourself. As always, you can watch previous episodes of SoFlow Health at SoFlowHealth.com and follow us using at SoFlow Health and share with us what you're doing to stay healthy on social media. That's it for this week, I'll see you next week. Next week on SoFlow Health, we visit the Philip and Patricia Frost Museum of Science. Interact with stingrays, technology, and even smells, if you dare. Plus, we'll learn about thermal therapy and pay a visit to Feeding South Florida to show you how you can help feed a family.